Hey, hey, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. It is about 11 a.m. in California. This is Mrs. Jimerson, and I am now talking to my world history students, period one, period two, and period three. So today we're going to talk about the chapter nine review and project. So you guys have finished reading through chapter nine, and you have gotten the big ideas out of chapter nine. You have learned about the French Revolution, sorry, not the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution and the Civil War in Russia. Russia. Yeah, revolutions are common. American Revolution, French Revolution, the Russian Revolution. There's always some kind of revolution. So I hope you put something in your slideshow about the Treaty of Versailles. And here's why. Here, let me tell you about it. The final peace settlement of Paris consisted of five separate treaties with, um, with defeated nations. The Treaty of Versailles, which is a place in Paris, beautiful place, um, with Germany was by far the most important. The Germans were unhappy with several parts of the settlement, but they accepted the treaty. Um, and here's what it was about. The so-called war guilt clause declared that Germany and Austria were responsible for starting the war. Okay. It required that Germany pay financial compensation for all damages that allied governments and their people sustained as a revolt result of the war. Germany had to reduce its army to 100,000, cut back on its Navy and eliminate the air force. Alsace and Lorraine, which is a territory in France, um, was taken by the Germans from France in 1871, and it was returned in this treaty. Sections of Eastern Germany were awarded to a new Polish state, and German land all along the Rhine River became a demilitarized zone, stripped all of weapons and fortifications. So, as you can see, World War I ended very badly for Germany. So, you can see why we ended up with a World War II with, again, Adolf Hitler as the instigator, okay? So, now we are getting ready to go into World War II, which is... Uh, 1919 to 1939, actually the West between the war. So that's what the next chapter is going to be about. So now, um, after you guys have submitted your project, which some of you still have not, but I'm waiting for you. It's okay. I need you guys to go ahead and start reading chapter 10, because chapter 10 is going to be the next piece um, of what we cover when we get into World War II, okay? So here we go. This is chapter 10, lesson one, instability after World War I. So this is going to talk to you about uh, how the world was basically a hot, hot mess in between the world wars and how we ended up with another world war, okay? So tomorrow, and I want you guys to go ahead and look at this information right here and fill this out. Um, some of the things that I would really like for you guys to focus on when you get to the end of the lesson, um, is the lesson review questions. They have good main ideas. So make sure that in your notes, as you are reading and taking notes, reading, reading, writing, writing, listening, listening, speaking, speaking all the time. Um, I really want you guys to make sure you zero in on these lesson review questions. I'm going to come back to you tomorrow with the answers to these questions. And there's usually only about five or six. Yeah, there's six. So I want you to answer all six of them in your notes. And I will check in with you again tomorrow. All right. You guys have a wonderful Thursday. And I will see you mañana. Bye-bye.